Now you see this is our brand new NG Star RV showroom. So today we'll have a 25 minutes introduction of our Explorer off-road trailer, the flat top one. And uh, today we will go through the interior to see the material of the interior. And then we'll go through the exterior. So let's take a look with my cameras here. So I hope you guys can enjoy the view of our trailer here. So let's walk straight to the interior of our camper. I will open the LED lighting system here. So this way is the control panel here. So here, let's take a look at the interior. So you see in the middle, we have a table and this table is manually lifted. And uh, let's take a look at the ceiling. So this is the flat top. The maximum standing area of the inside is two meters. Also, here is the expandable children's bed here. So let's come to this area. So you see in the middle, the table, we have an, an induction cooker here. So this induction cooker, we have a 800 watt rated. So you can cooking and uh, cooking some, just like boiling the water by using this without any problems here. And also there, we have the tools on the table. So you are by using this one, you can have a longer lifespan for the lift of the table. And also here we have a two cups holder, two cups holder. Here, let's take a look at this side. And uh, we have this bug proof. So comparing with the slow pop up, the flat top, which you can bring more lighting inside of this caravan and the white ceiling the white one we have this white ceiling so here two meters standing straight inside here so let's take a look at this area so from this area you see there is a plug and by using this plug you can control the lighting the lighting here the warmer lighting here so you can closing it by click this button and also we have uh, this is the plug um, if you want to using this you have to open the inverter on the camper. We have a 3000 watt inverter. It has charging and uh, uh, inverting function here. So another USB charging port. So the wall material of our camper is the leather and you see this these are the leather and the needed, the needed material of the leather. It's very luxury, isn't it? And also let's talk about the window. The window we have safety window it has screens for privacy protection and also it has um, meshes for the bugs and the mosquitoes etc so here you can take a, a much more closer look here this way so here so screams and mesh for bug proof the 12 air conditioner it has here the air conditioner we're using is frequency adjustment air conditioner which means uh, it can adjust the temperature according to the inner environment so it can save the energy by using this uh, air conditioner so by using the frequency adjustment air conditioner it can maximum expand the using life of the air conditioner so the frequency adjustment air conditioner is key for using this way and uh, let's take a look from this angle here so you can see this expandable children's area so I'm sitting here is the queen size sleeping area and this size of the queen size sleeping area is 2 meters by 1.85 meters so two adults sleeping in the queen size area and expandable children's area uh, they can sleep there for the kids and uh, you can storage some things over there also it is available here and also let's take a look at this side so we will talk about the material use of the frame inside you can see this material is the aluminum is the light uh, sand blasted and uh, anodized aluminum which is very shiny for the ages in this way the bolts that we are using is the stainless material and you can see it's very shiny here so those are the stainless 
and uh, we are using high density nylon material for the tent and for an awning exterior and here you also have storage in the head area so let's see how deep inside here so this is like uh, 22 centimeters height and the length of this area is half meters half meters for the uh, head drawer here wardrobe this is the wardrobe two wardrobe and those are the alumina edges alumina edges and a polywood material those are the polywood material which is very good quality and uh, and also the aluminum box here this one is anodized aluminum shell aluminum ship metal two speakers on the camper so this is very luxury one um, next time we can just open the, a video or an audio here on the camper so we can listen to the music and introduction our camper here so let's take a look at the restroom here so this way we take a look at this way here so there there is a carbon detector so if the carbons on the camper uh, put put some limit like harmful for the human body it will alarm you in case it happens here three stainless steel hooks over there it's very solid and stronger here three stainless steel hooks so let's take a look at the restroom right now so this is the restroom it's very typical and standard restroom on our camper here so this way we have a portable toilet here we can custom a cassette toilet the cassette toilet it can turn uh, turn just 180 degree for the cassette toilet and this portable toilet it's much more easier to use compared with the cassette toilet and the restroom floor we are using is the stainless material and uh, the restroom wall material like the wall material we are using is the aluminum anodized and uh, the original wood it's very good quality original wood also for stainless steel hooks over here so it's, it is very unique inside you can take a hot shower on the camper inside here let's take a look at here this area we have a steel sink so this sink is uh, steel and uh, also it's the aluminum the wall is aluminum and uh, the plastic faucet by using the faucet you can take a shower on the camper here so the faucet can fix in this way so we have a holder here so this is the over introduction of the restroom here the restroom the door we have we're using the aluminum profile so this is the aluminum uh, anodized profile here in a, the wall material of the door is the polywood so this is very solid quality of our camper here and uh, let's focus on on the refrigerator here the refrigerator that we are using is the 40 liter capacity of the refrigerator so here we just you can just check what's the feature look like in this way the refrigerator 40 liters capacity with dual function so you can freeze and fridge so two functions for this refrigerator here 40 liters capacity uh, slight out version on the camper some customer also um, suggest us why do you make the slide out kitchen just like the uh, slide out kitchen area to make it a, a refrigerator there instead of on the camper so I think this design here this way is much more convenient so compared with you are just a very long slide out so it depends we I think we will develop the version like a a uh, longer slide out kitchen you can include the refrigerator but you know if we doing that way the slide out kitchen area can be shrinked so which means the kitchen area gonna be shorter 
gonna be less luxury compared to the present one here. Okay, so we talk about the expandable children's bed right now. So this is the expandable children's bed. Um, it can sleep two kids here. The size of this area is 1.6 meters, uh, 1.6 meters length and uh, 1.85 meters width. So sleep two adults there without any problems here. And also there is a lamp here. So you see, this is the, a lamp. So it's very unique lamp here for the children's bed. And uh, another thing, we come to this area, so you can take a look at the teak floor. And this we call the teak floor. By using the teak floor, it's very unique and luxury and uh, long last. Here, let's take a look at the control panel here. So by checking the control panel, you have a MP5 music system. You can using your memory card here. And also here we have a a column meter and a cigarette lighter 3000 watt inverter if you want to using the um, the plugs on the camper like you want charging charging your phone computers etc so you have to open uh, open the inverter here so this one is a plateau version diesel heater by 3000 altitude 3000 altitude it will put in use for this plateau version diesel heater here and the USB charging port and this one is a signal Ronai bar a water pump and this one is the household electricity household electricity for this one and uh, this is a water tank here main power switch and this one so this is the fully introduction of the control panel here so every electric facility on this camper is managed in one place just this one place all right okay so we will take a just very quick look of the interior so this is, we finished the inside introduction and then we will go through the exterior for the introduction of the exterior by the way we can talk about the insulation on the camper some customer uh, told me about if I will use my trailer um, something like under 10 centigrade to up to 30 centigrade that's no problem because we have customers they are towing our camper in the extremely cold weather like very snowy days they're using this camper the insulation material that we are using is XPS plus the PVC board and uh, the structure material in the wall in the wall on the camper so it is thickness nearly 4.5 centimeters for the thickness the insulation so this is the inner introduction of our camper here let's take a look at the exterior first things we take a look at the slide out kitchen here you have a seven core stove you can click in this hose to the front toolbox then your propane will put in work so you can using this to cook here the stainless slide out kitchen the double layer slide out kitchen here the LED lighting system so you can cook in even when it's light time here we have a plastic sink and also there is a retractable faucet it can produce hot and cold water at the same time if you uh, put the propane into function here so you, we have a, a push-up drawer here you push up push up here you can put some tablewares inside this drawer here so let's put it inside here we have a spicy bottles there all the spicy bottles are the glass bottles this one is a glass one and this one also, this longer one is also the glass one. And here, those are the aluminum material, anodized, sheet metal. The exterior of our camper, sheet metal, are all the aluminum alloy. So let's take a look at the expandable 
children's bed here. So this one is the expandable children's bed here. We have three stainless steel poles to make it a strength for the children's bed here. And also high density linen material for this tent. And uh, this is the children's area here. So let's take a look at the hitch. This one is a 2000 poly block hitch. It is very typical. So it maximum can tow 2000 kilograms. And here, there's a manual brake, 250 chains, 250 steel chains, and 13 pin connections here. And also the Anderson plug. By using the Anderson plug, you can charge in the rear car for the front car batteries here. So that's why you need a um, battery isolator for your front car to protect the batteries in front of your car. Here, you see there's a handle here. You can move the trailer by your man by the manpower here. And also by looking at this hose, you can drain all the water out on the camper by using this hose. So also you see from here this way, this is the toolbox. You have a uh, 80 liter capacity of the toolbox in front, aluminum to aluminum toolbox. Here also, this one is a diesel oil tank. You can add diesel oil or gasoline at a time. And uh, you can also take a look from this angle. So check it inside here. So this camper, the length of our camper is five meters and the width of our camper is two meters. The height of the camper also two meters when it's folded. So let's take a look at this, this side. So from this side, you can see, we have another toolbox here. You can open it and check it inside. Here, this is uh, another toolbox. By here, when it's opening, we have the LED lighting and a small fire extinguisher. Dry powder, fire extinguisher here. This one, we have the Ford water heater. So this is a water heater. The water heater is powered by the propane. You can put a propane tank in front of the toolbox there. And here you can see, also see this way. So this one is the faucet, uh, another faucet here. The stainless material for this. And this one is the plastic. And you can connecting a hose from this way here. So let's take a look at this one. So here you can take a look at this hatch. So I will open the flashlight here. So the air conditioner compressor is in this hatch. Air conditioner compressor is a dangerous part when you are using it. So we must put it in a safe place here. So this place will be better. And also you see the aluminum one. This one is a Plato version diesel heater. By using this, you can warm the trailers inside for almost seven hours. We have a 10 liter capacity of the diesel oil tank here. And also you can see we have a storage in enough space. You can put a battery or two batteries inside without any problems here. So this is the rear of our trailer. At the rear, we have a 20 liters capacity of the toolbox at one side. So this toolbox is enclosed. And uh, you see here, so we have a rear luggage rack here. And the rack, we can customize the cover here. So it is rear luggage came with the cover. And also here at this way, you have a full size spare tire at the back of the trailer and the size of a, the style of the trailer uh, the spare tire is changed uh, for the 2024 you can refer our radio of 2023 it's much more different here so here this way there's a license plate the stainless license plate with the LED lighting and uh, the air conditioner fan installed in this place the 10 liters capacity of the diesel oil tank here in a, a pair of the stainless steel support back. So this four back is the stainless material. 
and now let's take a look at the chassis here so you can see from here the chassis uh, 2023 we are using the duo uh, absorber here on the camper but 2024 we'll, we will use the single absorber and uh, it's much more safer than the dual one as our engineer says but it depends so some people say twin absorber is much more better yes it depends on um, the yeah on the design of the trailer and also the quantity of the parts that you are using it and underneath the trailer we are using 140 liters capacity toolbox fresh water tank underneath the trailer 140 liters uh, fresh water tank underneath the trailer so the the fresh water tank is the uh, plastic and uh, the stainless we have two of them connected together here so right now you see this is a shore power plug here so here this way is a shore power and uh, the kilometer here in the middle this one is the kilometer and uh, it can detect the abnormal problem for the gel battery or the roof sonar uh, we have uh, 200 uh, 450 watt roof solar power so the 2024 the roof solar uh, is increased for 100 watt and also there is a main power switch and a gel battery 240 mp gel battery so we have two gel batteries here so you can see we have two of this inside here and this one is the household electricity here this is a 3000 watt inverter with inverting and charging functions here and here also you see this way so we have another secret lighter here this one is a hidden secret lighter so this is the introduction for this inside and also uh, let's take a look at this side the door side so the door structure is changed compared with 2023 you can see this is the door structure of 2024 right now you can also refer to the previous videos and this is a 2024 door structure here it's changed a lot compared with previous one so it's just inner side of our camper here so we have introduction before about the inner side of our camper here so it can sleep two adults with children's bed and the refrigerator air conditioner and the lighting belt on camper restroom so everything is equipped on the camper here so this one is expandable children's bed here queen size sleeping area for this side the control panel in this place here so here this the overlook and the review of uh, the previous introduction so right now we focus on the uh, here the locking here this is the combination lock with the fingerprint this is 2024 upgraded version here and those are the aluminum material with the original wood here and this one is also the aluminum with the original wood here you can storage some things inside here so this is the full introduction of our flat top off-road camper trailer today and you can take a look from this angle here so you can take a very clear view of our camper and uh, if you guys have any questions of uh, our caravan welcome you to send us your questions online anytime here I would be really appreciated for your understanding always welcome you guys sharing with us your thoughts online here anytime so this is the today's introduction of our unique NG Star flat top off-road camp trailer and uh, this trailer is USDOT certified so this is a steel X which is very stronger here and this is the inner side stainless buckle here okay this is today's 
overview of our Explore laptop off-road trailer here. So you can watch the lip replay for the details introduction here. This is our showroom. We have another two US standard trailer here. And also there is one uh, UAE customer's trailer, which is ready. Take a look here. The customer install a motorbike here, motorbike rack here. So thank you for you guys watching for the 25 minutes introduction here. I'll see you by the next day. Thank you guys. Any questions, welcome to leave the messages on the YouTube or send us inquiries online. Thank you so much.